Hey everyone, Jane Phillips, Action Auto Parts. Came home uh, just a little bit ago. Kind of slow day at the yard. My brother Rodman has been buying a bunch of my wheels. Uh, I had bought 2,800 about 11 years ago. And this building was so full, you couldn't get in it hardly. But I've kept the Keystone Classics and some SS Kragers and some stuff like that for my projects. I'm probably not gonna really have anything much that I'm gonna sell. Uh, and he's slowly been moving his. And so he likes, um, well, the rest of this row, then that one, and it goes back three, what's well, three deep counting that one. So he's about to get it. And a lot of this is gonna be mine over to there. He still likes this section and then some down that wall. Once he gets all of that out, then I'm gonna move my, my signs, my doors, my windows and all that, and take all of my wheels and go down that wall and then lay everything back. Getting all of that done, uh, then I'll be able to straighten up a lot of this stuff here and get it where I can put my mower over here. Uh, that's my sewing machine. I get my new garage so I can start doing my own upholstery work. Uh, I'm still learning, but uh, I got a good friend that's taught me quite a bit, and he'll still help me some on that. Of course, there's my 327, but it'll give me some more room in the garage once it gets all of his wheels out, and I can get rid of some stuff and, uh, yeah, get a, a car in here. Me and Dave is talking about bringing the Pinto wagon in because the... Uh, engine and transmission sitting out over here for it. But uh, kind of excited. The wheel business was good for me for 10 plus years, but uh, the junkyard has taken off uh, so much. I've not been able to really work uh, the vintage wheels uh, like I had done in the past. So it's let my brother make some money. Uh, I cut him a real good deal. So he's getting to make him some money and I'm getting to keep what I wanted and I'm gonna get my garage back. So even when I get my garage at the farm uh, built uh, until we move out there, then I'm still gonna use this one here so I can get, uh, I've had three cars in here before. So uh, of course there's still some signage and things like that that I've got. And <clears throat> of course the big Lincoln Mark III is off the porch now where I sold it. I've got a bunch of 20 inch banana seat bikes. I like those things. Don't know yet what I'm gonna do with all of them. Uh, so it's good to get a little more breathing room, a little elbow room out here. That, when I do get my new garage built, I'm saving the old paper box and the payphone to put on the porch of, uh, of it. But kind of, like I said, came home a little earlier than normal. And uh, I'm going to go in the house and get Axel ready, bring him out for a little bit, maybe eat me a little bowl of cereal and kind of relax uh, for a little bit. Still got a lot here to do. We got to get uh, the Cordoba to the junkyard and, and got to get these straightened up. Uh, a few more in the back's got to go out there, but uh, it just takes time. And man, I tell you, here of late, we've just not hardly had any extra. We're gonna have to just start taking a day uh, off and you know whether it be Sunday after church and quit opening up uh, at the yard until I can get things caught up because it's uh, a lot still yet to do. There's a cool old display case we got out of the old diner store down in McKinney, Kentucky. That's where those doors come from. But uh, give me a thumbs up, please. Oh, sorry about yawning on y'all, man, man, I'm tired. Uh, leave a comment and uh, yeah, please subscribe and uh, check out my friends in Bethel, Ohio at Beamer and Santa Garage. They had to get out today with the old white truck and pull one of their cars in. Ryan broke down, but dad to the rescue. So uh, it's good that he's able to do that and uh, what have you. So I will uh, catch you in the next one.